Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Now let us go and create our Go router over here. So for that, let's go to the Go router and let's create the new file over here. That will be of the Go router. Uh, let's say a provider over here. Dot the R dot file over here, and we require the uh, Go router over here. So let's say the written type will be of the Go router itself and we'll make use of the uh the riverport annotation over here so let's say uh this will be of the not the riverport sorry it should be of the go router uh, go router ref and we will get the ref from here and once we have that let's just go and import the some of the dependency first we need to annotate this one with the uh river pod over here so r-i-v-e-r-p-o-d river pod over here and then we need to import the packages that we require over here so first one we require it to import our uh, package that will be of the package and then the we require the go router over here first of all and next we need to import the uh, annotation package from the uh, riverport annotation that's cool and once we have that uh, let's just go and provide the name for the part file because we need to generate a code over here and that will be the go router provider g dot the dot file and now let's just go and return from here the uh, go router uh, we need to return a go router from here right and let's just go and add the uh, initial location so we need an initial location and the initial location will just provide the root over here that will be of our root of our initial location and route is the list so let's just go and add the some routes over here and the path will be of the um, the initial or the root path let's provide the uh, builder and currently we don't have any and let's just also provide the name for this one and we'll just say this is of the home for now let's just go and rearrange the uh, let's add the proper intent over here and let me just copy this one from here as well and let's just add a one more route that will be of the create the tax right so we need to create the tax as well and this will be of the uh, create uh, tax as well so create tax over here let's just make this one as an well, uppercase and currently we require a uh, we require to return um, our uh, a screen from here and currently we don't have that particular screen so what we'll do over here is we'll go to our ui and let's just create the screen that we currently require that will be of let's say uh, our tax screen over here and we also require the one more that will be of the create the tax right screen so let's just have a two screen for now and now we can just go and uh, can can we require a consumer right so c-o-n-s-u-m-e-r consumer and that will be of let's just go and create the uh, stateful consumer over here and that will be of the uh, create tax screen over here so we have the create tax screen let's just go and import the uh, dependency the flutter material and also import the uh, river pod package from here flutter river pod and we are good to go so in here we are just going to return the uh, scaffold from here 
and scaffold will just add a simple app bar from here and the app bar will just say uh, the create tasks and we'll just uh, say the uh, central the center tile to be of the uh, true over here so that should be good enough and uh, after app bar we are going to have our uh, body over here and currently for body i'll just give a single um, child uh, scroll view so let's just go ahead and single child scroll view and this has the child over here and i'll just go and add the um let's add the column for now and the column that should be fine and column has the uh, children over here and i'll just give it as an empty list for now that should be fine and uh, let's go to our okay so we have to close it here and let's go to the task screen and we also read us your n s u m e r consumer and let's build a stateful consumer over here and that will be of the uh, tax screen over here and once we have that let's just go and import our dependency that will be a flutter material and we also need to import the uh, river port package over here that should be fine and i guess i can just copy this stuff from here as well instead of going and typing it and just return it from here and this will be of the let's say this is our home screen so i'll just make it as a home for now over here and for now that should be fine later we are going to change this but for now let's just go and return it from here that will be of the uh, the uh, tax screen that we have over here and let's just make this one as a gunst and here we also require the create the uh, tax screen and let's just make this one as the gunst now we have this uh, go router setup over here we need to run the build runner to build this particular uh, river port over here and let's just make this one as a keep alive this requires a true or false so i'll just go and set it to be of a true uh, because i just don't want to dispose it so this is something like a singleton that we have defined which means that keep alive as long as it can right and after that we'll have to run the uh, flutter uh, flutter pub, uh, pub run that will be of the build build runner and then we have to build it that's d and let's just run this one and this is going to generate that particular class for us that we have defined as in the part over here uh, to generate our riverport provider over here and make sure to add that dependency to your pub spec that the yaml file for the build runner to generate that particular file and also the riverport generator over here and now you can see it has generated one our g.d dart file uh, which is the go router provider that is providing for us you can obviously go and create it by yourself uh, using the provider but here i just want to show you how you can make use of the uh, the riverport annotation to generate that particular provider class for you so now we are good to go and now we'll go back to our, our main over here and in the main what we have to do is we have to just go and set this one we need to uh, provide a router over here and for that particular router this particular main class we need to convert it to be a stateful for now and in the stateful uh, for this particular class let's just okay so for now stateful is there so c o n s u m e r consumer stateful we get and this will be of the c o n s u m e r consumer state over here we require a consumer state and that's is what we are going to return it from here a consumer state as well and i guess it is giving us some error over here so consumer stateful uh we get so we need to import i guess the flutter river part of it okay so we have already import that but it's not going to so let's just go and go to our this particular the root of our src over here or let's just go and create outside of this source folder that will be of the main underscore the app over here dot the dot file over here and once we have that we'll just go and see when as you a consumer and that will be a stateful consumer over here and i'll just say main a uh, main app over here and let's import our uh, the material package as well as import our uh, flutter river pod package over here 
and that should be good so what we have over here is we need to return whatever we have over here so just copy this from here and we'll separate it over to return it from here and we just have to remove this particular const from here and now we don't have to return a home from here as well and now we are going to return this particular config so router config and in the router config i need to provide a, a final so this will be of the rivr river pod over here so not the river pod this will be of the go router that we require and ref dot the watch i need to watch that particular go router provider go router provider that we have just generated uh, using the uh, the uh, riverbot annotation and this is of the go router over here so config will just pass in the that particular go router over here and that should be perfectly fine once we have configured this uh, this should um, redirect to all, all of our routing logic to our go router over here that we have provided over here and let's go over here and let's remove this one because we are not going to uh, use this anymore so let's just go and remove this and the main app we need to import it from our this particular file over here and now let's just remove this one over here that should be fine and now that should be good enough for us so we have now separated that particular logic to our different main app over here and i'll also remove the debug banner from here and that will be of the false for now and that should be good enough for now so we have configured our go router and the next step is uh, we need to work with the uh, river pod so that's all for this lesson and let's meet up in the next one till then uh, have a great day now let us go and configure our, our river pod over here so for that we just have to go to our this particular uh, main file over here main dot the dot file since we are not making use of any of the uh, like the flavors and all of those stuff it will be pretty straightforward over here and uh, let's go to this particular let's just go and arrange this one from here properly let's just go and arrange this one and uh, here I'll just go and wrap this one with the uh, widget over here and that widget will be of the provider scope and once we wrap this one with the provider scope it is going to make use of the river pod and all of our provider that we have created will be available for us to use throughout inside of our features and anywhere that we have wrapped our main app since we have wrapped this main app already whatever is coming after that particular whatever is the child of the uh, main app that is going to make use of our uh, it will be available to use the provider scope which provides the uh, all of our uh, provider that we have uh, created over here we only have created one provider that is of the go router uh, provider for now but later we are going to create uh, some more provider and so we don't have to go and wrap each time so we just have to wrap it one time over here so I guess uh, that is what we have to do over here and let's just go and make this one as the const over here and we'll also go and say the wid we get uh, binding over here we get flutter binding and we'll just make it as an insure and it's a light over here for now and that is what we will do and let's just go and remove this particular const from here and that's critical so I guess that is what we require to set up over here just wrap the provided scope that comes from the flutter river pod and now we are ready to use our uh, provider that we have mentioned in our main app over here if you run it without wrapping that you will obviously get an error but now since we have wrapped our application or the main app with the provided scope you should be able to use that the go router provider that we have defined over here so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then uh, have a great day